In today's episode, you're going to see the workout for one of the most famous Asian actors in Hollywood, Jet Li. Get ready to find out his workout routine and diet. Before we start this video, I want to say a huge thank you to my subscribers. This channel is a labor of love. If you have a favorite celebrity you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Now back to the video. Lee Leongi, better known by his stage name Jet Li, was born on April 26, 1963 in Beijing, China. He is a practitioner of Tibetan Buddhism. Li, as a Buddhist, believes that the difficulties of everyday life can be overcome with the help of religious philosophies. He has four daughters, two from his first wife, with whom he divorced in 1990, and two from his second wife, with whom he got married in 1999. In his free time, he likes to play badminton and table tennis, ride his bicycle, read and meditate. And a little known fact, he collects rare Tibetan beads. He says he is never bored in his free time. One of the most famous Asian actors in Hollywood, Jet Li is known for his impressive wushu, Chinese martial arts demonstration. Li was eight when his talent for wushu was noticed as he practiced at a school summer course. He then attended a non-sparring wushu event, followed by joining the Beijing wushu team. He had it really rough when he was training wushu. Like, uh, I wake up every morning 5.30 or 6 o'clock, uh, running for, well, 400 meters for 20, 20 rounds. And then some little bit training, then go to breakfast. Uh. Then take up an hour, 8.30, start training until 12. And then go have lunch, then sleep. Sleep, wake up, read the newspaper. And uh, after that, you have a little bit break. And uh, in the evening, you need a 7 o'clock. Go to training. Lee is a master of several styles of wushu. Lee competed against adults and was the national all-around champion from 1975 to 1979. Unfortunately, he retired from competitive wushu when he was only 18 due to a knee injury, but became an assistant coach of the Beijing wushu team for a few years. He believes that wushu is more about inner harmony than power or speed. Surprisingly, he has never used his martial arts skills in a real-life fight and prefers the peaceful resolutions of conflicts. The fame gained by his sports wins led to a career as a martial arts movie star, beginning in mainland China and then continuing into Hong Kong. Lee acquired his screen name in 1982 in the Philippines, when a publicity company thought his real name was too hard to pronounce. Soon, everybody was calling him by this new name, which was also based on the nickname Jet, given to him as a young student due to his speed and grace when training with the Beijing Wushu team. He made his debut with the 1982 film Shaolin Temple. Like other popular Asian actors, such as Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, Lee has also made his mark in the American entertainment industry. With his remarkable martial arts exploits and excellent acting skills, he was able to make an impact in the American film industry. His rise to fame was almost instantaneous as most of his movies were blockbusters. Soon, filmmakers signed him to co-star with some great Hollywood actors, catalyzing his journey to stardom. Jet Li is one of the few Chinese actors recognized around the world largely because of his Hollywood movies. In 1998, he made his international film debut in Lethal Weapon 4, which also marked the first time he has ever played a villain in a film. Show me a move, Jet. Uh, Show me one move. Come on, Okay, Help me a little bit. Uh, okay, you know, American style is this kind of style. Yeah. Uh, Did we find my Dalamoth guy? Uh, martial arts. Yeah. Is different? Different. Beautiful. I can't do that. <laughs> 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 I make the 25 movies in Hong Kong. This is the first time I played villain. It's a very yeah, bad guy. <laughs> it's a very interesting. You know, the character is is very young, very smart very cold. He never used a gun. He just used this, this kind of kung fu to kill the people. So this is the character. In 2001, he appeared in two more films. The One, which was the first of his films with Jason Statham, and Kiss of the Dragon. In 2002, the martial arts epic film Hero was released in the Chinese market. Lee took on a more serious role in the 2005 film, Unleashed, 
where he portrayed an adult with the mentality of a child who has been raised like an animal. Although his martial arts skills were used extensively, it was a somber film with more depth than had been previously seen in Lee's films. In 2006, the martial arts film epic Fearless was released worldwide. Lee stated back then that this will be his last martial arts epic, which is also stated in the film's television promotions. However, he wanted to continue his film career in other genres. Specifically, he plans to continue acting in epic action and martial arts films, dealing more with religious and philosophical issues. In late 2007, Li returned to China to participate in the China-Hong Kong co-production of the period war film, The Warlords. This film, with its focus on dramatics rather than martial arts, netted Li the Hong Kong Film Award for Best Actor. Li and fellow martial arts veteran Jackie Chan finally appeared together on screen for the first time in The Forbidden Kingdom. Their fight in the movie was truly epic. Behind making movie where we are good become more close friend and uh, we know each other and uh, so it's a very good exper experience i'm very happy to work with him lee was cast as the emperor of china for the 2020 live action movie mulan he really loves this movie uh, but i love the film because uh, it shows chinese culture very well uh, like uh, because in China have long history, you know, 5,000 5, years, so you really difficult to put all the idea in the movie, films. Mm -hmm. But this film I love the most because they have a, a few words. It's very important, short understanding, easier, and you know, loyalty, yes, and uh, devotion. That's in Chinese people's mind and blood. Everybody. Mm -hmm. so I hope after watch the movie, they can. In understand the meaning about the, the, the this uh, Mulan. Mulan not just the fighting, not just the costume. Of course, beautiful, you know, but the meaning is very important to 21st century. Yeah. Everybody, especially girls, you need to be yourself, true, brave. He has been in a lot of films, but according to him, everything he has ever wanted to tell the world can be found in three of them. The message of hero is that the suffering of one person can never be as significant as the suffering of a nation. Unleashed shows that violence is never a solution, and Fearless tells that the biggest enemy of a person is himself. Lee thinks that the greatest weapon is a smile and the largest power is love. Jet Li is an idol for many of his fans. There is a lot that could be said about Jet Li's career. After all, he has 40 years of work behind his back, but his workout mindset is as interesting as his life. So let's dive right into it. Jet Li's Workout Mindset Jet Li is a martial arts master. As one, his body and mind should be worked on a daily basis. He created a fitness and healthy system called Wuji in order to help other people be more healthy. It is about cultivating your boundless wellness, rejuvenation, and spiritual connection. You can do this by focusing on three main areas, internal martial arts, such as Tai Chi, the spiritual practice of Kunlun system, and a collection of healing therapies. The word Wuji consists of two Chinese characters meaning boundless and infinite. Of course, like every person that works out for years, Jet Li has his own secrets when it comes to training and self-defense. Let's start with the ones for training. First of all, you should go for explosive workouts. For his cardio, he jogs and rides a bike, but when it comes to maintaining the speed and explosiveness that he's become famous for, he plays badminton. His second secret is to think in a happy way. He believes that workout is that much more beneficial if you have a handle on the stress before you start sweating. Last but not least, Jet Li thinks that everyone should accept the fact that meditation is critical to control the mind. Of all of his conditioning techniques, Li prefers meditation over any other and practices it at least an hour a day. When it comes to self-defense, Li, as you can imagine, also has a few moves but now it's all about finding his self-defense secrets. His first one seems easy. You just have to keep it simple. No need to make your life harder, right? His second secret is, you might not expect this, because I sure didn't, but it's to watch the Discovery Channel. To develop a heart that's strong enough to stare a man out of attacking him, Lee watches nature documentaries. Last but not least, his third secret is to change speeds. Asian people are not very tall, and when it comes to moving someone from the way that is bigger than them, you gotta use tricks. First, you go very slow, and then all of a sudden you go fast, and that will surprise your opponent. Do you wanna find out his workout routine after hearing all of this? 
because it's time for you to hear what Jet Li does in a week for his workout. Jet Li's workout routine. I can't turn you into Jet Li overnight. Suddenly becoming a Chinese martial arts master would probably be the easiest way. But short of that, I can do the second best thing, which is to tell you about his weekly workout plan and leave the sweating for you to do. Listen carefully, since you're about to hear the weekly workout plan of this legend. Monday, Calisthenics A, Martial Arts and Meditation. Squats, six sets of 20 reps. Pull-ups, six sets of 10 reps. Standard push-ups, six sets of 10 reps. Hanging leg raises, six sets of 10 reps. Burpees, six sets of 10 reps. Bench dips, six sets of 10 reps. Tuesday, Calisthenics B, Martial Arts and Meditation. Diamond push-ups, five sets of eight reps. Biceps pull-ups, five sets of 10 reps. Inverted rows, five sets of 12 reps. Jumping lunges, five sets of 20 reps. Plank, five sets of 30 seconds. Wednesday, Calisthenics C, Martial Arts and Meditation. Pistol squats on each leg, five sets of five reps. Incline push-ups, five sets of five reps. Clap push-ups, five sets of five reps. Narrow grip pull-ups, five sets of five reps. Burpees, five sets of 20 reps. Thursday, calisthenics D, martial arts and meditation. Squat jumps, four sets of 15 reps. Wide arm push-ups, four sets of 15 reps. Parallel bar and ring dips, four sets of 15 reps. Leg raises, four sets of 15 reps. Windshield wipers, four sets of 15 reps. Side plank, four sets of 30 seconds for each side. Friday, calisthenics E, martial arts and meditation. 50 meter duck walk, box bench jumps, 15 reps. Push-ups, 10 reps. Inverted rows, 10 reps. Pull-ups, 10 reps. Leg raises, 15 reps. Plank, 15 seconds. Saturday, yoga and meditation. Saturday is only for yoga and meditation. Sunday, rest day. On Sunday, Jet Li lets his body rest. Of course, it doesn't work to only have a good workout routine, but also a certain diet that works for your body. Let's look into his diet regimen. Jet Li's diet. For centuries, for reasons both economic and historic, the traditional Chinese diet has been primarily vegetarian, featuring lots of vegetables, rice, and soybeans, and containing only shavings of meat for flavoring. The traditional Chinese diet is really healthy, so it's not surprising that he is a vegetarian. Sadly, I couldn't find his diet regimen because it seems like he doesn't have one. But I can share some health benefits from being a vegetarian. It boosts your immune system, and we all know how important that is. It also keeps your weight down because veggies are low on calories, but keep you full longer. Plant-based foods decrease the clogging of arteries. So that means there is a chance you might live longer and being a vegetarian also reduces stress and anxiety. In fact, almost the opposite body type to Jet Li, Arnold Schwarzenegger recently said that he's a vegetarian. You might also be interested in checking out his video on my channel. Now, I am not trying to say you should become a vegetarian or try to go vegan. I am simply stating facts. Jet Li puts really hard work on staying healthy, and if you want to have his results, then eating healthy and working out is a big part of it. As always, thank you for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments which celebrity you would like to see next. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel, since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.